the standard of performance expected of modern power plants is constantly rising. Improvements in efficiency for cost-effective power generation and simultaneous reductions in CO2 emissions can only be achieved by raising the process temperatures. And this means greater stressing on the materials employed. The new VM12 Super High Corrosion Resistant Steel patented by Valorec meets all these requirements perfectly. As a specialist in tubes for power plant projects, Valorec defined the requirement profile for the new generation of materials several years ago in close cooperation with its customers. The properties were compiled in detailed specifications. On the basis of many years of experience and by using thermodynamic models, we have formulated a material that complies perfectly with these specifications. Once we had defined how much iron, carbon, nickel, molybdenum, niobium, silicon and boron, as well as cobalt, vanadium and tungsten the steel was to contain, the first trial alloys were cast. To ensure that the new material is suitable for service conditions in modern power plants, extensive and lengthy test series had to be conducted. A variety of samples and specimen types were subjected to metallographic testing. Specimens were ground, etched and examined under the light microscope. With the aid of a latest generation scanning electron microscope, a steel's microstructure can be studied at magnification levels of several thousand times. Toward this end, Valorec has a large number of state-of-the-art equipment, along with many other testing methods for precise analysis at its disposal. Because high process temperatures increase the risk of high temperature corrosion, the steel specimens were tested in special high temperature furnaces for their oxidation resistance at from 575 to 675 degrees Celsius. VM12SHC demonstrated its resistance to oxidation up to 650 degrees Celsius. In the notched bar impact bending test, the material's toughness is investigated with a pendulum impact tester. The hammer's kinetic energy is absorbed by the specimen as it deforms. From the absorbed energy, as expressed in pendulum amplitude, it is possible to draw conclusions about the material's toughness. The deformation of the specimen is clearly shown by high-speed photography at 3 and 5,000 frames per second. Tensile tests were also carried out at the expected service temperature of 620 degrees Celsius. To develop VM12SHC, more than 150 notched bar impact bending tests and dozens of standard and hot tensile tests had to be performed. It is particularly important that steels used in power plants operated at elevated temperatures be resistant to creep rupture. We carried out 164 tests to verify the creep behavior of VM12SHC. In furnaces, specimens under tension were exposed to temperatures of 525 and 700 degrees Celsius for over 1.3 million hours in total. This corresponds to about 150 years. The results obtained for VM12SHC are comparable to those of P91 steel. As development work proceeded, preparations had to be made for the industrial production of VM12SHC and its further processing at the Valorec plants. Modern power plants nowadays are operating under temperatures which are beyond 600 degrees centigrade. Due to this uh, fact, the hot temperature corrosion and the creep behavior of the normal ferritic materials, these are not possible to be used. 
VM12 SHE contains 12% chromium, which provides both the necessary resistance and secondly, the creep rupture strength values. Very important is of course that the steel maker recommendations have to be followed during processing of the M12. Following these recommendations, no problems will occur because this material is very similar in handling with B91 material, which is well known on the market. VM12 has been successfully introduced in the boiler heating surfaces, superheater and reheater final stage in the project Yashing 4 close to Munich and is also implemented in the follow-up project in Lauswart which is located in Düsseldorf. Well, for the European uh, projects which are planned and designed in accordance with the European standards, the application of VM12 is given and defined in the Fautative Datasheet. Since this material now is also successfully approved by the SMA organization for the regions where the US standards are applied, I see good chances to use this material also for these projects. At any time, the VM12 material considered to be used in the future in all other projects from Siemens.